Plants of the future might be able to clean up the air. Actually, we already know that they can clean up chemical spills. Plants of the future might be able to heat our house. They might be able to be used as a thermostat. That's Sharon Berberich, CEO, scientist, entrepreneur, plant lover. They might be able to provide light if we could get them to glow. 2050 is a long way out there. I, I think even in 2030, this is what it'll look like, and it's going to be vastly different than what it looks like today. And this is Sam Fiorello. Mr. and Mrs. Farmer, before they even wake up, they have a drone out on a pad in their field, and that drone jumps up at sunrise. It detects the sun's rays. It jumps up. It makes passes over the fields and collects data. Sam runs the world's largest independent ag science research institute, and he loves data. That drone comes back, jumps on the pad, dumps that information into a centralized database, and that farmer and his wife and family will look up, and while they're having their coffee, there's a big screen TV, and they'll see a grid of their farm, and they'll download that data from that drone, and that will inform them to say, what should I do today, and, and, and how much of it should I do? They're both dreaming about what plants, data, and modern agriculture will be able to accomplish in the future. I think that we're going to get smarter about understanding the relationships between agriculture and particularly the plants and other things in the environment. And they're dreaming with a sense of urgency. That's how things are discovered when you finally understand the relationship between, let's say, a plant and the soil or a plant and the insect. And it matters because we have a daunting challenge and that challenge is by the year 2050, we're going to have to produce as much food in those next 35 years as the last 10,000 years of agriculture put together. We're going to have to almost double our food and we're going to have to do it with a lot less inputs, a lot less fresh water, a lot less fertilizer, a uh, lot less topsoil loss. So this is really important and we have to get it right. We will get it right, but um, it's a really exciting thing to work on because it's one of the most important challenges I see in the world.